Allah doesn't love unbelievers, according to the Quran. I'll go ahead and read a verse. Uh, Surah 3, verse 32 of the Quran. We could say a lot more about uh, all the people that Allah doesn't love in the Quran. Uh, but a very clear verse, chapter 3, verse 32 of the Quran, say, Obey Allah and the Apostle, but if they turn back, then surely Allah does not love the unbelievers. Allah does not love unbelievers. Now, why is this important? Well, when you start telling me about God, if you start telling me very weird things about God that make God look imperfect or flawed in some way, as when we saw in a previous episode that uh, Islam believes that God is the greatest of deceivers. Well, now you have a God that's not only the greatest of deceivers, he's a God who only loves certain people. And according to this, he only loves believers. If you keep reading other passages of the Quran, you find out he loves, he doesn't, you have to be a very, very good believer. Um, but Allah doesn't love unbelievers. Now, what's the problem here? Well, one, Muhammad claims to be in the tradition of Jesus, right? Jesus preached the same message, but Jesus commanded his followers to love their enemies, to love their enemies. And why? He says, because that's how you can be more like God. God loves even our enemies. But according to Islam, Allah doesn't love unbelievers. So one, um, Muhammad is preaching a very different God from the one that Jesus presents, when that would be odd because Muhammad claims to be presenting the same God. But number two, he's presenting a flawed God. God is perfect in every way. And if you believe in a God who only loves certain people, then Allah's love is severely imperfect. In fact, we can say that our love, because we love even those who hate us, that our love is greater than Allah's love. So we are greater than Allah in love? Hmm. It's absurd to say that human beings are greater than God in any way, but that's what we have to say given what Muhammad says about Allah. 